Hey guys, it's Kate. Welcome back to my channel. So we're back with another mascara comparison video, one of my favorite videos to do, except this one is a little bit different. So basically a lot of you guys asked me to review some of these new drugstore mascaras. And instead of doing a review on each one individually, I had you guys vote in my community tab and you guys wanted to see all five mascaras just in one video as a normal comparison video. I'm gonna do my normal spiel for those of you who are new. Basically in these videos, over the course of three days, I wear each mascara on my eye. I show you the application, the wand, and I also wear each one for eight hours hours and by the end of the video like one mascara passes through and kind of wins and I rank all of them from like worst to best basically but before I jump into the video I just wanted to say that I kind of thought of like a good idea so a lot of you guys have really really good video suggestions but I can't do all of them so I was thinking if you guys have a suggestion of a video you want to see leave it down below in the comments and then I want everyone else to thumbs up the comment with the video suggestion that you want to see the most so that the comment with the most thumbs up I'll definitely for sure do that video and if there are others that also have a lot of thumbs up I'll try to get those out but I guarantee the one with the most thumbs up I will do don't forget to subscribe if you guys want to see more mascara videos I post every three days give this video a thumbs up too but I'm just gonna jump right into day one of testing two new drugstore mascaras hey guys welcome to day one of testing two new mascaras so today honestly I picked the two mascaras I was most excited about I really really wanted to try these ones today so the first one I chose to try is the covergirl lash blast clean mascara this is relatively new I know it came out a little while ago and there are reviews on it but basically from what I see it's just the clean so like vegan formula of the normal covergirl lash blast volume mascara so they're supposed to be like pretty similar now I have used the normal one so many times that I'm really curious to see if this one has the same formula basically or if it doesn't really last as well or like if the vegan formula makes it not as good of a formula you know what I mean so that's kind of what we're gonna be testing today I do have a review already on my channel of this mascara but I do want to read a little bit about this on Amazon so it retails for about eight dollars um, it has really good reviews so far and I have mine in the shade pitch black so basically it says it's supposed to provide 10 times the volume of bare lashes so it's a mess free application because it's supposed to be smudge and clump proof so that's really important we're gonna see that during the eight-hour wear test it's also supposed to be a clean and vegan formula that's why it's just the whole like branding of this mascara which is incredible more companies need to do this um, and it's cruelty free which is amazing as always so that's about all it says for this mascara but it looks like it's supposed to be long lasting provide length and volume so I decided to pair up the covergirl mascara against the new physicians formula mascara this is the butter blowout mascara it only comes in one shade I got mine in shade black um, it retails for ten dollars and there are once again pretty good reviews on it so now on to the details about this mascara honestly most of the details are just benefits like it's infused with lash strength and then keratin lots of like butters and stuff so it doesn't claim as much about honestly how the mascara performs um it's supposed to have a creamy and buildable formula and a round bristle brush it's supposed to coat each lash but honestly that's about all it says it doesn't really say much I feel like this mascara is more so focused around the fact that it's supposed to be good for your lashes but we are gonna zoom in we're gonna take a look at both of these wands and apply them to my eyes Okay, so I want to start with the CoverGirl mascara on my left eye, and we're going to look at the wand. It's the same wand as the original, because it's just like, you know, the clean version. But I really, really like the original, so I'm excited about this one. I just really hope that it lasts well throughout the day, but as you can see, it's just like a very thick wand with like little spikes in it but the original I really like for adding like volume to the base of my lashes it provides like a more wispy look so I really really like this mascara I feel like with almost every single mascara I try I always struggle on my lower lashes because my eyes are a little bit small I know I say that in every video I don't know I just feel like I always get it all over myself but we will see if it removes off the skin so far honestly the formula seems pretty just the same as the original so that's good. I'm not having too much trouble. Wow, okay, that application was so easy. I didn't get it on myself. I think this is the first <laughs> application where I didn't get it all over myself, so. This formula does not feel, like, very wet, and I prefer, it's more like middle ground. It's not dry, but it's not, like, L'Oreal telescopic. Like, that one, it's just, like, it gets all over me. It's awful. But so far, this seems pretty good. Hold on, I'm just gonna get really close right now to make sure you guys can see. I can really feel the mascara at the base of my lashes. That's what I really, really like about this mascara. I feel like it gives your lashes a nice, like, wispy, volumized look. As you can see, that's, like, really one light coat right now. We're gonna go in probably two coats, I'm gonna say. And even though the spikes aren't, like, wicked hard or anything, you can definitely feel them separating your lashes. I'm gonna go in with kind of, like, a third coat and see if I can add a little more. I noticed this mascara isn't a big lengthening mascara. I'd say it's more of like a wispy volumizing mascara. 
Okay, so there's about three coats of this mascara. This looks really good. I'm like really, really happy with that. It doesn't like make me look like I have spider lashes or anything. I just really hope it lasts throughout the day, but we're gonna move on to the Physician's Formula Mascara on my right eye and we'll kind of see them compared. But here's the wand. Now, spoolie type wands, I've never been a fan of. I feel like they don't really do anything for your lashes. I don't know why. I just kind of hate them. So I already, <laughs> I'm already starting this off negative. No, I just, I have, I have hope. I just, I'm not a big fan of this wand. Okay, we're gonna start on the lower lashes. The wand is pretty thick and like round and big. So I will probably end up getting it all over myself. It's going on. It doesn't, doesn't seem clumpy right away or anything. Wow, okay, wait right away. Look how lengthening that is. What is, holy crap, okay. The wand doesn't seem bad so far, so. But it definitely, I'd say, probably isn't as black as the CoverGirl one so far. Okay, but that application was pretty easy. That seemed like easier than the CoverGirl one, but do you see how much more lengthening this one is compared to that one? Okay, but we are gonna start on the upper lashes. This is supposed to have a creamy formula. Doesn't claim anything about lasting a long time. It also just says it's supposed to have volume and length, but it doesn't really say much else. Honestly, yeah, this is like, this, like, this is what happens when you have like a spoolie brush. I swear to God, like, the product doesn't really go on right away and it just kind of like combs through your lashes in a weird way and it doesn't really do anything. It feels like definitely a drier mascara, so that is good. I do prefer those. I'd probably say that that's like one coat. I mean, it doesn't look bad. I just, it's definitely one of those mascaras I feel like I have to keep going in over and over again and like build it. Okay, wait, do you see what's happening with my lashes right now? How there's like little like wisps going up? This mascara doesn't have fibers, but it kind of like gives you that look. I mean, I'm really surprised about the curl right now. Do you see how like curled up these lashes are? But I do want to see how these mascaras come off the skin because I got them everywhere. So I have a spoolie and okay, I didn't get the CoverGirl ones. Okay, the CoverGirl ones comes off easily. We're going to see right here though. That comes off pretty easily. That's great. Now on the Physician's Formula side... Um, comes off a little bit harder, right? Please come off. Okay, that one comes off a little bit better. So currently it is about 12 o'clock. I'll be back in eight hours and we're gonna see how these last throughout the day. Hey guys, I'm back. It's been about eight hours, so it's almost 8 p.m. and we're gonna zoom in and look at the mascaras. Okay, so here are the mascaras up close. Honestly, within like an hour or two of wearing both of them, I noticed flaking. Now, the flaking, like this, that's a big dot right there, but like they're, they were really, really small on both sides. Like they were on my nose, on my upper lip on both sides. Like I kind of was finding flakes everywhere, which I thought was kind of weird because it was happening on both sides. And I didn't like smudge my, touch my eyes or anything. The Lash Blast Clean version definitely smudges more, I mean flakes more than the original one, I'd say. But honestly, I don't really see any smudging. And it still looks pretty good on the eyes. Now, it did drop a little bit. Can you see how it's not as curled as it was before? It doesn't look as long. Now, when we look at the Physician's Formula Butter Blowout Mascara on this eye, there's still those tiny little flakes. I hope you can see them on camera. There aren't as many big ones, but there are, like, tiny ones right there. And there's, like, one up on the eyebrow. Maybe it's smudged a little bit up there, but you can't really tell with the lighting. Now, this mascara also dropped. They kind of dropped equally. Like, it kind of lost its curl. It lost that length. It looks, like, choppy. I don't really know how to describe it, but I do not really like the way this one looks on the eyes. So, I definitely say that between these two mascaras, the CoverGirl, I definitely recommend over the Physician's Formula one. Tomorrow, on day two, we're going to be testing some Essence mascaras that I'm really excited about because those are really, really inexpensive, and Essence has some great mascaras. So, stay tuned for day two in a couple seconds, and we'll be testing two more. Hey guys, welcome to day two of this mascara comparison. So like I said yesterday, I have two Essence mascaras to try. I feel like Essence is a brand that just releases so many mascaras or like at once they'll just release like five at a time. That's kind of what they did the other day. Like a bunch of new ones came on Ulta and a couple of you guys wanted me to try these ones. So obviously I'll put the comments up on the screen, but the first mascara I picked up is the Essence Hello Good Stuff Volume Mascara. So all Essence mascaras are really, really cheap. This one is $6. But the one thing I did notice about Essence mascaras is that they don't really have many details about any of them. Like on the Ulta website right here, it just says it has a coconut infused formula and it's supposed to condition and strengthen your lashes while adding volume. That's literally all it says. Um, Essence is vegan, so it's paraben free, alcohol free, incredible, but it doesn't have any other claims besides that on Ulta. So, or we're just probably going to be looking for volume with this mascara, but Essence mascaras also don't usually last a long time. So that's why I'm really excited about the eight hour wear test because I really want to know how this lasts throughout the day. But okay, I decided to pair that mascara up against the new Essence 24 Ever Defined Volume Mascara. So this one also retails for $6. This one has a little bit more information about it. It's supposed to leave you with unforgettably defined eye look for 24 hours. So this one does claim long lasting. The formula has hemp seeds, almond oil, 
jojoba oil, I think, vitamin E. So it's also supposed to condition your lashes and it's vegan, paraben-free, fragrance-free, alcohol-free, silicone-free. But as always, if you guys watch my mascara videos, we are going to zoom in and take a look at the wands and then apply them to my eyes. I'm honestly very excited. I do like Essence mascaras, but they just, I need them to last longer throughout the day. That's my issue with them. I do really like this wand because it's small like the Lash Princess one and I don't usually get it all over myself. The Essence does have some good mascaras. I know the Lash Princess ones are good. I have tried those on my channel, but the issue with those is that they didn't last well on me and the waterproof one also didn't really last well on me, but maybe I just got like a bad batch. Wow, that was such an easy application. I love it. Okay, I'm excited. I love this wand, but I definitely can't really tell if I like a mascara until I start putting it on my upper lashes. Okay, so yeah, okay, it is a like drier formula. The one thing with drier formulas though is I still want them to be like applied easily. Like I don't wanna have to work with it too much. In this one, as you can see, I feel like I'm gonna have to go in, sorry, that was a weird angle. I'm gonna have to go in a bunch of times I feel like to get the look I want. This wand, even though it doesn't have spikes or anything, I still feel like it does a really good job of like separating your lashes. That's kind of like one pretty light coat. As you can see, it has more of a natural mascara look, which once again, it's literally all personal preference when it comes to mascara. I know I'm very particular with what I like. So I'm gonna go in with a second coat and we're gonna see if we can build this up and add a little bit more volume. And then the mascara seems kind of black. I don't know. It doesn't seem as, as black as like other ones I feel like. But it doesn't seem to be getting like super overly clumpy or anything. It doesn't separate every single lash. It kind of just, it gives it more of like a wispy natural look, which I really like. Okay, honestly, even though I like like really intense volumizing mascaras, the way this one looks in my eyes is actually really pretty. And it actually curls my lashes. Do you see that? A decent amount. I do not curl my lashes before any of these videos. It just got some like curl and some like subtle definition. It's definitely a medium intensity mascara. I do want to move on to this mascara and we're going to see. I am curious i don't even know what the wand oh my god <laughs> oh boy guys okay here's what the wand looks like okay i literally have like eyeshadow over me um uh you guys know me with the spoolie brushes anything that looks like a spoolie i automatically like hate the mascara because <laughs> i just i don't see this wand like doing anything for me and it's also giant so i don't look at this compared to my eye i'm gonna get it all over myself this is for sure like the widest brush mascara brush i've ever used ever like how am i gonna get this on myself without getting it everywhere oh my god yeah so this formula definitely seems a bit thicker and okay there we go see thicker and wetter than the hello good stuff ah but it seems to apply right away i don't really have to oh god this is awful okay that's what it looks like i don't know we're gonna just gonna start on the upper lashes though because i feel like this is what matters the most anyways Okay, yeah, it still has that, like, spoolie brush feel. Sorry, I know I'm, like, I'm very critical of mascara, so I just try so many. I don't know. These brushes, I just feel like, do absolutely nothing. Like, they just apply the product, and, like, that's it. And I feel like if you just change the brush around, the mascara could be so good, you know what I mean? So there's one coat of this mascara. As you can see, it's definitely, once again, a more natural mascara, but I feel like, why claim, like, 24-hour volume if it's, like, more natural? Like, just don't claim volume. <laughs> You know, like when companies, sorry, we're gonna work on a second coat. Like when mascaras claim like um, no flaking, no clumping, no smudging. Like I won't even, I wouldn't even bother, oh crap. Ugh. I wouldn't even bother claiming um, <laughs> like no flaking cause like every mascara honestly flakes. Okay, wait, so we're getting somewhere actually. I mean, I got it all. <laughs> Two coats, we're adding that volume. So maybe it claims it for a reason, that's good. So definitely two coats is when the volume starts, but this wand is just awful. Okay, so ignore the mess, but there's two coats of this mascara. I definitely say it's blacker, and also you can definitely see more volume at the base of the lashes. And they definitely have a little bit, just like a tiny bit different of a look, but this one also, I'd say, curled my lashes pretty well. So because the Hello Good stuff's already dry, we're gonna see if this comes off. Okay, so Hello Good Stuff comes off the skin, so that's nice. Oh god, I'm a little bit worried. Please come off. Oh god, okay. Doesn't come off as well. <laughs> okay, so I'm probably gonna, gonna end up trying to conceal that a little bit because <laughs> it doesn't really come off. But currently it is one o'clock, so I will be back in eight hours and we're gonna see how these last throughout the day. Hey guys, I'm back. So let's see. Okay, I think it's about, yeah, 9 p.m. And we're gonna zoom in. Sorry. Hi. There's, first of all, a bug in the <laughs> light above me and it keeps like bugging around and then that was my cat coming in. So, whew, we're just gonna... Oh, can you tell it's like late and I'm tired? <laughs> 
Here are the mascaras up close. So, as you can see, Essence mascaras do not wear well throughout the day. And honestly, six... Honestly, $6 for an Essence Mascara to me is a little bit expensive. That sounds, I mean, I know it's not that expensive, but for a few more dollars, you can get a mascara from the drugstore that is significantly better than a lot of Essence Mascaras. That's why if this price point was more around like maybe $3 or $4, I'd find this more acceptable. But as you can see, out of all the mascaras I've ever tried, these ones have definitely dropped the most. So you can see this one. Look how significantly different this mascara looks from when I applied it. It dropped so much, it barely even looks like I have mascara on at this point. The Hello Good Stuff, which is this side, even though it didn't smell which is really nice it does have as you can see a lot of flakes right there and then when we look at the like volume defined sides I like oh my god I have stuff all over me do you see all of that flaking it even got down on my lip and stuff a ton of flaking with this mascara this mascara also dropped as you can see there isn't as much of a curl and then as you can see it also smudged up on my brow bone so definitely either the covergirl mascara or the physician's formula mascara from yesterday are both significantly better than these two so but because the covergirl one is better than the physician's formula one I'm definitely say the covergirl one is the best mascara we've tried so far in this video but here's a final look at both the mascaras you guys will see me tomorrow we're gonna test one final last one i'm so excited and hopefully it'll last a little bit better than these two Hey guys, welcome to day three, the final day of testing mascaras. So, you know how yesterday I tested the like defined volume 24 hour mascara? Well, they also released another one that looks extremely similar. This one is the 24 ever bold volume. So, that one's defined, this one's bold volume. I'm not really sure <laughs> what the exact difference is, but we are going to read about it. So, once again, it retails for $6. This one has like three and a half stars, so not, out, not as good as the other ones. It says, Be bold. This essence effect mascara will leave you with unforgettably bold eye. For 24 hours the formula has hemp seeds almond oil like the same things as the other one and wait that's literally it <laughs> it doesn't even say like it'll give you volume or length it just says like the bold volume mascara will give you a bold eye look i'm curious to see how these will differ i know this has a different wand so we are going to zoom in and we're going to look at the wand and i'll compare it to the one wand from yesterday okay actually i have a lot of hope for this so the top one is the new wand from today the bold volume wand the bottom ones from yesterday See how the top one, I love these wands. I've talked about this before, like spiky plastic wands are my favorite, like the Benefit There Real wand. I really like that one. So either just looking at these wands, like dead, this mascara is definitely gonna perform better than the one yesterday. So first of all, with this wand, as you can see, there's like longer spikes on one side and like shorter ones on the other, but we're just gonna get started. We're gonna do, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get really close. We're gonna do one eye to begin with. And I'm gonna, okay, I'm already getting it on myself. Um, I'm gonna do one eye on camera and one off camera because I'm just gonna wear this mascara on both eyes. Once again, I absolutely love these wands. I just feel like they're so easy for application. Look, already, if you're thinking about getting one of these mascaras, get this one just because the other wand on the other one was way too big. I don't know. So far, it looks okay. It doesn't seem like super black or anything. The wand definitely grabs each lash and I really like that. There are the lower lashes. I'm not mad at it. I don't know. It's just not, it's not wowing me. But we are gonna start on the upper lashes. I definitely feel the wand, you know, like the base of my lashes combing through. I feel like this mascara is definitely going to be pretty dang separating. We're going to do one light coat first, but it doesn't seem to be super volumizing yet. But then again, with yesterday's mascara, it took two coats to kind of get that look. So there's one light coat of this mascara. As you can see, a lot of the like blackness is more at the base because of the mascara. But as you can see, it just seems more like a natural mascara right now, even though it says bold volume. We're going to try to work on a second coat right now. I'm hoping it adds more volume. So there's, I'd say, about like two and a half, three coats. And as you can see, it doesn't have as much curl as the other mascaras, I'd say, we've tried in this video. But it is like pretty. It has like some length, not as much volume on the actual lashes as I would want. More so just like volume at the base. I'm going to go do the mas put the mascara on my right eye and I'll be back and see if I can remove some of this. I'm hoping I can. Okay, so here's a mascara on both eyes. Honestly, I feel like it redeemed itself a little bit. I got, I didn't get it all over myself on this eye. It looks pretty good. Once again, the mascara yesterday, like the same version, but whatever it was, the defined volume, did drop a lot and kind of look weird so i'm curious to see how this one wears throughout the day but this one's definitely the better one out of the two but we are gonna see if it removes and i'm like praying uh, uh oh okay it like slightly removes but has some difficulty so i'm gonna have to put concealer over that i think yeah so it doesn't remove too well so that's a bummer but um let's see right now it is 2 48 p.m wow okay i'll be back at almost 11 p.m and we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna see how this lasts throughout the day 
Hey guys, I'm back. So it's been eight hours. It's about 11 p.m. and we're gonna zoom in and look at the mascara. Okay, so here's a mascara up close. Honestly, I noticed transferring and like smudging at probably like the four or five hour mark, which is kind of annoying, but it didn't really surprise me to be quite honest. I've talked about this before. Essence mascaras just don't really wear too well throughout the day. I don't know why it transferred more on this eye than the other, but as you can see, the mascara also, sorry, it's my cat. The mascara also clearly dropped just like the other Essence mascaras. Like they did not hold a curl at all and I did not curl my lashes, but they just kind of like dropped and kind of became a little bit of a mess on my eyes. This one definitely flaked less than the Define one yesterday, but I don't know. There's still like a significant amount of flaking enough that I personally wouldn't use this mascara again. And like, it just like looks different throughout the day. But that's kind of my thoughts on that. If you guys have watched these videos before, you know, as always, I do a final thoughts at the end of my video and I rank each mascara, one being best, five being worst. So I'm gonna zoom out and do that. Okay, so unlike some videos where I feel like the rankings are honestly really, really hard, I felt like they were really easy in this video. I think there was definitely an obvious winner. It's the CoverGirl Lash Blast Clean. Now, even though this did like flake a little bit more and kind of drop a little bit throughout the day, it was definitely the best mascara and I definitely preferred the way it looked on the eyes compared to all the others. Now, in second place is gonna be the Physician's Formula Butter Blowout Bron Bronzer um, Mascara. This was not a bad mascara. I just like didn't really prefer the way it looked on my eyes. I didn't really like the wand that much. And it also did like kind of flake a lot, but I don't know, I just, I prefer this one definitely over the Essence Mascaras to be honest. The Essence Mascaras on the other hand, the one I tried today, just because I liked the wand better, but as you, know, as you saw in my eyes today, like it's smudged and it kind of looked like a mess, but I still want to put this in third just because I prefer the wand. Now in fourth and fifth, honestly, it's my cat, of course. Um, Honestly, these could be probably tied because for me, they don't really stick out that much. It's the, you know, defined volume and the Hello Good stuff. Both these dropped significantly throughout the day and just like flaked and didn't really look good on the eyes and I just wasn't really a fan of the wands as much the hello good stuff wand wasn't really that bad at all but I just didn't look like the look on the eyes so that was you know a really really quick run through I bet you guys could have honestly guessed which mascara I like the best but um don't forget to go down below and thumbs up the comment with the video suggestion that you guys want to see the most um I'm really really excited to see what the top comments are and what videos you guys want to see and I'll get those out as soon as possible but I really hope this video was helpful and you guys enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up really really helps support my channel and my video and everything but i do post new videos every three days at 2 p.m eastern standard time so i'll be back in three days with a new video